UFC Fight Night, UFC Vegas 64, Rodriguez versus Lemos just took place, and I'm going to go through the full card recap, starting with the early prelims, ending with the main event, um, and it was a decent card, lots of finishes, some decisions here and there, starting with the early prelim opener of Tamirez Vidal versus Ramona Pascal, nothing much early on here, I mean, it was completely nothing early on here, let's be real, but... At the end of the first round, um, Rom uh, Romo Pascal, it's pretty even. Tamirez Vidal landed a big like jump knee, and it, like like the left knee came up to a right knee right in the chest, put down Ramona Pascal, hurt her, and then that big shots afterwards put her away. Ramona Pascal should be cut from the UFC. She's complete fucking garbage shit. Um, but yeah, Tamirez Vidal gets it done. And how old is Tamirez Vidal? Twenty four. Get her in there. Um, and, uh, get her in there against um, another opponent because she took no damage. Good one from her. Moving on up the card. Jake Hadley versus Carlos Candelario. Um, good win, Jake Hadley. Impressive performance by Jake Hadley, in my opinion. Really impressive performance. Like, this guy is very good. Um, Carlos Candelario, I think, is quite shit. I think he should be cut from the UFC now. Same with Ludovic Shulinian. Same with Jin Frey. Same with Benito Lopez and Shana Young. All these people until the main card starts. But, um, Jake Hadley won. Jake Hadley is something, man. Very good fighter. Um, I'm very tired in this video. So, if I miss a few things, I couldn't get sleep last night. I'm sorry. But, um, so I'm not going to be the most clear-minded. But, um, I don't know why I couldn't get sleep. I just couldn't sleep. But, um, what did Jake Hadley do? Oh, yeah, round one was just scrap back and forth. I scrapped back and forth. And, um, it was pretty even. Jake Hadley got the better of it. But, um, eventually in round two, Candelario shot takedown. Took down Hadley. But Hadley is dangerous, man. He's very good. And he got triangle, landed big elbows, cut open Candelario, and eventually tapped out Carlos Candelario. Good win, Jake Hadley. He looked good. Let's put him on the UK card. Because he looked very good out there. I picked Jake Hadley and Tamiro's Vidal, by the way. But let's rebook him versus Victor Altamirano. I'm down. Let's do that, then. Let's do that. Rebook him versus uh, Altamirano for the UK card in Wembley. Um, but, yeah, good win from Hadley. Very good performance by him. Um, yeah, good win. Uh, moving on. Hop the card. Um, Johnny Munoz Jr. versus Ludovic Shalinian. Oh, shit fight. Munoz, Munoz won the first two rounds, in my opinion. Barely. Landing the bigger shots. I, am, I hate this card. It's so stupid. I hope the Apex gets burnt down. But, um, Johnny Munoz Jr. won. Boring fight. Shalinian had a good comeback in the third round. But, uh, third round's either way. I thought, I thought Shalinian won it. But first two rounds were definitely Munoz Jr. Just gained some good grappling exchanges. Winning the grappling exchanges. Having some control time here and there. Landing some good strikes as well. And Munoz Jr. won it. So good win, good win from him. Started to slow down though, but he won. Moving on. Up the card. Poliana Viana versus Ginny Frey. What the fuck? Poliana Viana has fucking wicked power in her hands. Wicked power. Got the Brazilian woman. Like, the Brazilian woman fighters. They have fucking w weird power in their hands. Like, Viana, Lemos will get to her in the main event. Even Rodriguez has power in her hands. Nunes, Amanda, Amanda Nunes, Josiane Nunes. All those, like, the Brazilian women's fighters. The Brazilian fighters, uh, woman. They all have fucking wicked power in their hands. And yeah, Junyu Frey got fucking laid out cold. Badly. Round one. Um... Yeah, Viana. Even early on, Frey lands a few shots. V uh, Viana lands some shots as well. But man, I rewatched it a lot of times now. I think it was the counter from Viana that kind of got Frey, Frey's attention, and Frey started backing up. Viana started to land some shots. But man, what a brutal KO, man! What a freaking brutal KO from Viana. Good win from her. That puts her back right on board, and people, and she's a big name. Just because of her looks, she's a big name. Um, and she was with Colby Covington a bunch of times. 
And um and she just got a good KO win. So good win over a good win from Poliana Viana. She won. So good good stuff from her. Moving on. Up the card. Mario Bautista versus Benito Lopez. Yeah, Bautista, man. He's a problem. He's just a problem, I think, for for a lot of these guys now in the division. Like, I, I understand he beat Lopez, who had a three-year layoff with injuries. But, man, you have to give it to Mario Bautista. He went out there and showed, like, he's legit. Um, round one, no, I mean, Bautista was chewing up his legs. It was pretty even on the feet. Bautista was ripping him with big body shots. Like, big, big body shots. Like, boom, boom, you can hear it. But, um, yeah, um, Bautista took it, eventually was landing shots. Lopez was just thinking all over the place, like, what is he going to throw? And then he shot for a takedown, got to the ground, went for a straight arm lock, and then got, like, an inverted triangle to an arm bar, similar to what Amanda Nunes did to Megan Anderson in their foot. So, um, but, yeah, she got a, uh, he got an arm bar. Good win from Mario Bautista. Moving on up the card, Miranda Maverick versus Shayna Young. Shayna Young just got dominated for three rounds. Miranda Maverick, man, looked very good out there against um, Shayna Young. I mean, this shows how good Aaron Blanchfield is. Um, this shows how good she is just to destroy Maverick for three rounds on the ground. Yeah, Maverick just won the first last two rounds, basically. The first round was hers as well. I think round one's close, but... I think towards the ending, Maverick kind of stole it with, like, the big moment with the takedown, but it was just dead even early on on the feet. But the last two rounds, Maverick was just overwhelming Shayna Young, beating her up over the, th over the last two rounds as she won a unanimous decision victory. So good win for Miranda Maverick. She's good. She's young. I think 25. 25 years old. And Young was 31. Yeah. I'm, I, it was a good win for Miranda Maverick. I liked the win for her. Um, I, I really did like the win for her. Um, but yeah, she's good. I think that's two in a row now as well. I mean, I think she beat yeah, she beat Sabina Mazzo and uh, now Shayna Young. So, good win from her. She arguably won against Macy Barber as well. She should have won against Macy Barber. That was a complete robbery. But she's good and she won. So, good win from, Mar good win from Miranda Maverick. She won. Moving on. Up the card. Shane Young complete shit, by the way. Just wanted to add that. Moving on up the card to the main card. Grant Dawson versus Mark Madsen. Good performance here from Grant Dawson. Very good performance by Grant Dawson. Um, very good win. I mean, Grant Dawson, he looked good in this fight. Like, he was piecing up. He was not. He looked good on the feet here. Like, he looked kind of good. I mean, Madsen early on dropped him with a big shot. I think he dropped him, but it would have been off balance. But either way, he rocked. He really did stun Grant Dawson with a big shot early on. Dawson then found a scramble, got his back. I think round one could have went to Mark Madsen from that big moment. Because Dawson, again, didn't do much damage in this fight. But round two, I think, was Dawson just beating Mark Madsen. I, I, uh, I also picked, uh, by the way, I picked uh, Vienna. Uh, I picked Munoz Jr., Viana, Bautista, and Maverick. And I picked Dawson here. Um, Grant Dawson won, though. Got done. And eventually, round three. Was landing good shots on the feet. Grant Dawson has, has improved stand-up 100%. He's improved it. Um, but, yeah, he won in round three. Got the rear naked choke. That's two rear naked chokes in round three now. Because, remember, he got it against Jared Gordon in round three. And now he got it against Mark Madsen. Took the O of Mark Madsen. And yeah, um, good win from Grant Dawson. He won, got the rear naked choke. Madsen had a tap. And Grant Dawson looked good and he got the job done. So very good win from Grant Dawson. Very good win from Grant Dawson. Very good win. Moving on. But Madsen showed that he's in there. Like, Madsen showed that he's good, but Grant Dawson's just a, a, a step ahead of him. Moving on, up the card. Tagir Lumbekov versus Nate Maness. Quick one here. I'm not gonna really. I'm. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna keep this one brief. Yeah, to gear just easily won in round one. Easy win, standing guillotine. I mean, to gear early on went for a takedown, got the takedown, and man, that was just the beginning of the end. And they got back up, and he locked on to a standing uh, guillotine choke win. Good performance here from to gear. 
He won. And Nate Maness tapped. Yeah. Don't got that heart. Nate Maness don't got that heart. But um, Tagir holds Tagir. He's 31. Let's just rebook him versus Tyson Nam or something like that. Or something. I don't know. But good win from uh from Tagir Ulambekov. He won. Good win. Moving on up the card. Shia Landard and Becke versus Derek Minner. Derek Minner um, lost this fight. I picked uh, Shia Land. Same with Tagir. I also picked Tagir to win this one. Um, yeah, Shia Landard and Becke. Yeah, um, he won. Um, Derek Minner, though, I think should be cut from the UFC now. I think this is too, mu too much two losses. But um, Shia Landard and Becke, like, he looked good. Like, at first, I don't, they were both just on the feet, but I think Minner, they tore his ACL, and that was the beginning of the end, and Shia Land took him down, landed big elbows, and got a first-round TKO victory. Shia Land wins. Stuff happens. Minner hurt himself, but now he's lost his UFC career because of it. Let's do Shia Land and Becke. They just recently made, they recently made Julian Rosa, Alex Caceres, right? Let's do Shia Land and Becke versus Damon Jackson. Let's do that. Pay-per-view of a... Let's do that on the freaking South Korea card, if they can try. Maybe do that on the South Korea card on the prelims. That would be good. Um, but, yeah. Um, both will be good on schedules. Both have similar schedules as well. It's three in a row now from Shai Lan, so good performance by him. Very good win, but he was more so a minute hurt himself. Whatever, though. Moving on up the card. Neil Magny versus Daniel Rodriguez. Um, if I'm sorry if I'm rushing this video. I'm just really tired, and I'm trying to stay up right now. I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, um, Magny, uh, won it. I picked Neil Magny, man, and people really called me dumb for it. I picked Neil Magny to win this, man, and Daniel Rodriguez just did had, just didn't do anything. Round one was clearly Magny, just piecing up Rodriguez early out range, piecing up Rodriguez and in round two, a bit closer. Um, um, some people online had it Rodriguez with the bigger and cleaner shots, but I think Magny again, based off visual visible damage on Rodriguez's face. I mean, he had like a bloody nose, I think, in round one, but I, I think I think that got worse. And I think Magny got, can also win round two. Round three, Rodriguez was starting to do well. Crack Magny, nearly put him down um, on his ass. Nearly put him down. The cage saved him. Then he was he was on top, but something with Rodriguez, man. Like he went for the takedown, got the takedown. Well, after Magny was rocked, um, Magny shot for a takedown, panic shot, uh, panic shoot, uh, uh, shoot, panic shooted a takedown, um, panic shot a takedown, and D Rod sprawled it, got on top. But man, he got back up and let. It was like he could have just stayed there and could have won the fight. I think Magny would have won anyways with the first two rounds. But he, the judges might have found it differently, if I'm honest with you. The judges might have found it differently. So I don't get that from Rodriguez. So they back, oh, just get back up. And he threw the way the fight. So that's Rodriguez's fault. Magny wins 30-27, in my opinion. 29-28 on a 29-28 uh, um, at best for, um, for um, uh, what's his name? What's his name? Oh, yeah, there was a darts choke the hell i thought this was a decision um but if it was gonna go to a decision it would have been 29 28 or 30 27 man i'm really tired man jeez i i don't i thought it was a decision at first yeah magni eventually got the rain uh we got the darts choke eventually got the darts choke and tapped out d-rod but if it was gonna be a decision that would have been the scorecards 30 27 29 28 but magni got the sub just to keep it fair and he got the job done no controversy d Rod's just a bit of a... Just ruined Lee Jing Liang for nothing, yeah? Ruined Lee Jing Liang. They better give Lee a big fight. They better give him a big fight. They better. Like, I wouldn't mind Lee Jing Liang versus Ferguson rebook it. Or Lee Jing Liang, Jorge Masvidal. Ranking-wise, it makes sense. Where is Masvidal? Sitting on your ass doing nothing. Yeah, man. Yeah, um, but yeah, good win for Magni. Really good win. Yeah, Magni wins. I, I was confusing, though. I said, oh, it should have been 
I thought it was a decision at first, but it was a uh, Darsh joke. I keep forgetting about it. I'm just really focused on the main event. But, um, yeah, good win. I'm just really tired, man. Um, but, yeah, Magni wins. Moving on at the card to the main event. Amanda Lemos versus Marina Rodriguez. Um, I could win Lemos. Lemos is good. I think now we can say that now. Lemos looked good out there against them. Um, Against um, against Marina Rodriguez. Lemos looked good out there, in my opinion. Um, Lemos did look good, in my opinion. Round one, some people online had it Rodriguez because of the ending. But I think Lemos was done in the more, like, more poppy shots. The more of the shots, the more, like, leg kicks, tappy leg kicks in there. And I think that should count for something. Because when, when uh, Rodriguez... When Lemos landed a leg kick, it would land on Rodriguez. Big leg kick from uh, Amanda Lemos. But when um, Rodriguez landed it, Lemos moved out of the way of it and it didn't land. It was a miss. And I think that where you can that's where you can give round one to Lemos. And if if the weasel breaks it down, I mean he doesn't really have to. Let's be real. Um, but because um, it was a finish. But if the weasel broke it down. Um, play by play in round one. Round one would go to Lemos, and he would say Lemos wins round one. But I understand when uh, when uh, he uh, Rodriguez had the reversal at the end of the round and got the guillotine attempt kind of as well, the mounted guillotine attempt. Uh, round two, in my opinion, was Lemos. Took Rodriguez's back, nearly subbed her for a naked choke. Not enough for a 10-8 or anything. She didn't do enough damage in that round, but same with Rodriguez. So Lemos wins round two. I had 2-0 Lemos. Into round three, then all of a sudden she got uh, Rodriguez got cracked with a big shot um, against the cage. Big shots from uh, big shots from Amanda Lemos and the stoppage. The stoppage is what people want to hear. It it was a bit early, like Rodriguez was covering up and it was weird, but Lemos was landing. Big shots, you know, and Rodriguez was covering up, so I get it, but a bit early, you know. If Lemos, if it, if it was like that, but Lemos lands two more big shots, um, then it should be stopped. But a bit early, it's not the worst though, but it's not the best. It's fine. Lemos wins. Like and subscribe. Oh yeah, wait, Amanda Lemos. Yeah, Amanda Lemos probably will be... Nah, this is annoying now because Rodriguez lost her title shot. But I guess Lemos can get the title shot herself now. Alright. I mean, what rank was Rodriguez? Number three. So I guess Andrade will move to number three and number four spot will be for uh, for Amanda Lemos. And Rodriguez will go at number five because she beat Yan Jonan and Dern. Yeah, so I guess that's what they're going to do. But I guess Lemos gets the next title shot. Rose can fight Yan Jianan. Yeah, where is Rose? Stop sitting on your ass, Rose. You took no damage. Screw her. Um, But yeah, Lemos versus the winner of Esparza versus Zhang. Or Lemos versus uh, Rose Namajunas. I bet you she beats Namajunas as well. Good win, Lemos. Very good win. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Peace.